Well, good morning, YouTube. Right, we are still in the same place we were when we left off with you last night. Just woke up, got dressed, and uh, I fired Goliath up to let it warm up while Katie's getting ready. I'm journeying inside the pilot Flying J to get us some coffee. And Burr, I do gotta say, it is a bit chilly out here this morning. I think it went down to like 31 here last night. We had to run the, the heat pump for a little bit. Well, we, we ran it all night, not that it was a long night, but uh, it did take up about 30% of our battery power. We didn't run it really warm. We turned it on 74 degrees for a little while just to kind of take the edge off because it was chilly when we got here. But then by the time we actually climbed into bed, we bumped it down to like 68, so not terrible, but got up this morning and it was really cold. I knew Katie wouldn't get out of bed if it had warm it up, so I bumped it back up to 75, just to make her a little bit more comfortable as she gets ready. Mm, some good stuff. I think it truly is the best coffee on the interstate. All right, back out at Goliath. Katie's not quite ready yet, but I did grab me a breakfast burrito while I was in there. I normally actually don't like to eat this early in the morning, but I ate lunch yesterday and never really ate at dinner last night, so I'm actually pretty hungry. So I'm gonna grub on this while she's, oh, look, looks like she just, looks like she just might be ready after all. All right, 6.25 a.m. Breakfast is done. I think we're ready to hit the road. Unfortunately, I just had a conversation with my good friend, Ron. Apparently his wife had sent me a text message last night about 6 p.m. and I didn't actually like see it or read it until just now. But his truck broke down on the way to Florida from Minnesota for bike week. And he is actually about 30 miles down the road from us and uh, slightly in the wrong direction, but just a little bit. I was hoping that we'd be able to go over there and offer some assistance, but uh, he had to tow it off the road last night and the radiator broke in the truck and uh, he's at a safe, secure place. He's got his RV with him. So they're taking care of it. So he told me not to bother coming. I just I hate to drive past a, a fellow friend or another vendor that's stuck someplace without stopping to help. But he said, there's no room to get Goliath in and uh, he's got everything under control. So we're just gonna keep heading towards Daytona and hopefully he'll catch up to us.
came to the Jacksonville area, we're only about three miles or so from uh, our turnoff to get on the 295 to go around and head south towards Daytona Beach. And uh, there was just a sign that said, uh, if I right here, I can read it, crash one mile ahead, center lane blocked. So everybody is slowing down.
Alright guys, 9.35 a.m. and we are here at the Daytona International Speedway. Now where I pulled into, I know this is basically our spot. I just don't see the marks on the ground, I know exactly. I see a couple sets of marks, not sure what. I may have to find uh, Brian Elliott, he's the operations manager. He'll tell me exactly where my marks are. All right, guys, well, I believe this is it. This is gonna be our home for the next two weeks. Uh, dumping the air out of the airbags now. I did drive the left side up into some blocks because this park wanted to slope a little bit. That way keep, keep the house somewhat level. But we're here, we're parked. All right, so I got the motorcycles out and uh, pretty good time, actually. r and Carriers just called a little bit ago and they are on their way here to drop off our Amsoil product, which I wasn't expecting until tomorrow, but I'm glad we got here ahead of schedule. Otherwise, we would have missed it. Hi right, guys, the Amsoil got delivered and it is all here. I just covered it up for now, just in case any rain comes in or dew. Keeps it protected till we can get it loaded into the trailer. And then Talon showed up on his new to him used Harley. Uncle John. All right, but we've been kind of dicking around with uh, my little RC car and I need some parts for it. And there's no hobby shops near where we live uh, within reasonable distance anyway. So uh, we're gonna run over to the hobby shop here and see if they have what I need. All right guys, so Talon and I got back from the hobby shop and I got the charger I needed, but the body to my T-Max was, was, was pretty messed up. So I bought this 1968 clear Mustang body for it. Now I'm gonna paint it, but you guys leave a comment down below. What color do you think I should paint it? I already bought paint. I know what color I'm gonna paint it, but I'm not telling you till just yet. So what color do you think I should paint it? Well guys, as you can see, I went with green. I was going for more of a kind of a bullet type look, even though it's not the exact color, but it's the closest color that the hobby shop had. So anyway, it's about six o'clock PM now. Alyssa has finally showed up. So Katie, Alyssa, Talon, and I are gonna meet Wes and Cindy over at Four Rivers Barbecue for hopefully a wonderful dinner. The last time we ate there was fantastic. I'm hoping it's every bit as good again. It smells so good in here. Oh, just fresh, smoky barbecue smell. Mm Hi, -hmm. guys. We made it back from dinner. I noticed as we were pulling down, I thought there was a truck parked out here in front of Goliath, and it wasn't. Because we left before the sun came up this morning, I had the headlights on in Goliath. When we got here, I shut off all the marker lights forgot that I had the headlights on because it was daylight so all four headlights were still on so just out of curiosity I went ahead and started keeping mine it's nine o'clock at night and we pulled in at 9 30 this morning so almost 12 hours sitting here with the headlights on and then he fired up without any hesitation either way I'm gonna let us sit here and run for about half an hour or so put some charge back into those batteries oops Anyway, I think this is going to end this video today. We got a lot accomplished. We got here at a decent time. We got to play with my RC truck for a little bit. Still got some tuning to do on it. But uh, I think it looks really, really awesome with that green Mustang body on there. It came out pretty cool. I've never actually painted one of those bodies before and did the decals on it. So it was kind of fun to do. The old body just kind of came with a graphic on it. Uh, tomorrow was setup day. Chip and Amanda should be here in the morning. Talon is already here. 
we'll get it all built and then hopefully by uh, Wednesday morning we'll actually be up and running and ready for business. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time I see you, keep those engines running.